tracking every hit that the players took over the, the practices and games, we were able to tease out that players' brains were changing quite a bit, and concussions were actually really just uh, uh, one type of neurotrauma. They put the helmet on and they think, okay, now I'm invincible. But in reality, all the, all the helmet is designed to do is take, a, is take an impact and spread it out over a larger area so that it doesn't cause a skull fracture. And by and large, they do that very well. How do we get rid of the energy in the collision so that it's not absorbed by your brain and doing damage to your brain? Helmets don't actually do a very good job of that. The modern helmets are still much more like the 1960s cars. You hit and that solid structure doesn't absorb any energy and your brain just sloshes back and forth, back and forth. What we want to do is create helmets that have a, a crumple zone, that deform, that take a lot of that energy out of the hit and keep it away from your brain so that your brain doesn't have to deal with, with all of the, the damage that occurs when you, when you absorb lots of energy. The focus needs to be on creating these new style of helmets and now you know, just within the last year or two, we've proven that it's not only technically feasible, but economically feasible as well. Our big focus is on protecting athletes, allowing them to, or ensuring that they're able to play more, um, play better, play safer.